Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mikey Will here. It's part four of the electric ATV build. So we've been working on a bunch of things. A lot of things have happened too, and I want to show you, tell you a little bit of what's going to happen in this video. This video is actually to show like what we did going past the steps of the original mount breaking. The, yes, the original motor mount broke. And now we got a nice lovely mount, which, which you guys will see a lot more a little bit later. Um, but there's a little bit of a story behind that, which I'll tell you guys a little bit later. This is actually, actually I'll tell you right now, it was actually a test run and it broke. No one would believe me, no one, no one would see it, there it is, broke. So now we're here, here we are with a new motor mount, something that like anybody can use, anybody can put on. I can't believe this thing is actually here. You guys definitely stay tuned for everything that's coming. Because there's going to be more builds, maybe some dirt bikes, maybe the snowmobile if I can get my hands on it. I'm just kidding. Nah, probably like a golf cart or something like that. But everything else is sick and I cannot believe that something that was just in my mind is literally coming to fruition and actually here. So, guys, please help out this channel. Uh, the subscriptions mean more than you guys really know. And uh, let's stay tuned, y'all. Peace. Alright guys, so long story short, the motor mount that they created the first time actually snapped. Couldn't believe it. No one not one single one of us could believe it, but it happened. So so we're actually back at quality sheet metal and they're actually designing something to specifically house the um, psychosis motor or QS motor, whatever you got going on down there. But so, so we're the che or checking every bit of angle or checking every bit of like screw hole, measuring everything just so we can design or more so Steve, the guy who did it, uh, more so he could design a 3D design to actually mount the motor, make it not move at all and make it the easiest way for someone to take the motor on and off, even if it wasn't me. So he draws a sketch within moments. Like it was, it was really fast and then took a couple of measurements, going back and forth a little bit, a little bit of quality sheet metal and welding. So we take it to the computer and then when then we really see what's going on, he's moving really fast. So it's really hard to really even tell you guys what's going on. But uh, so this is like the beginning stages of what the, like what shapes he used and what like angles and um, other things that he did use to make th make this design. In other words, he spends maybe 20, 25 minutes in total just designing this thing. And it looks like he's just kind of sitting here doing nothing, just writing down a little bit of notes, going off some notes and stuff like that. But like, no, like he's got... He's got fingers on hotkeys. He's got the like. He's got the other hand, the other hand on the mouse, drawing like making out holes and stuff like that, and just making like the craziest design that you really could see. And it really like, like when you guys see it at the end, you'll see like how crazy it really looks. So in other words, you guys should really stay tuned for more 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 stuff on this channel definitely a lot of good stuff coming soon i can't really wait to rip this quad because now that the motor mount is an actual thing and it's like actually successful and looks nice and presentable like it's cool to see that like all this wasn't for nothing so getting back to the video we are a lot further along this is maybe like minute like I don't know minute eight and we're like really far along in it you can see where the screw holes are adding up and for both sides not just one side he's doing uh motor mounts for both sides of the motor because on the qs motor or the psychosis motor whatever you have there is independent little um what is it called like little holes on the side that you can um put an m8 screw, screw into you guys you need to remember this because it is an m8 it's no other size than that they're huge they're not too hard to find i got my i got some at home depot uh the big socket nut wait the big yeah, hex cap socket nut uh lugs and uh this is the part where steve actually printed out um like a printout of like what it would look like before we actually like 
made a 3D design. I mean, I made like a plastic plastic prints or, or even like a, a CNC metal print. But as you guys can see, we put one screw in just to like see where it would line up or how it would line up. And turns out it fit pretty well for our first, for our first go. Took, took a couple more like millimeter readings and stuff like that. And here we go We're on the CNC machine, actually doing it up and actually cutting it out right here. I actually had to wait like a little bit, we wait the morning for this because it took a little bit of time. But now you guys can see that it is on. And look at that, it is very nice, very well put together. That is what it, what it <laughs> that's what happened. It bends. You guys can see that it's a, it's not like a crazy 45 degree angle, but it's pretty, pretty close. But now look at that mount. That is a nice motor mount. Now we're uh, just cutting like this aluminum, not aluminum, like this angled, this angled steel to uh, actually put some screws into the side of those. So I know you guys saw some of the holes on the motor mount. So you would just uh, put the angled seal on there and uh, weld, it, weld it to the frame and then just screw it in, making it really easy to just swap in and swap out if like your motor ever did get damaged or just somehow fail which I hope hopefully that never happens in the near future because these things are these things are pretty diesel looking but yeah now we're getting into the grindy grinds getting it down with the angle grinder because it's got to be smooth got to be clean you don't want your stuff looking all jagged and rough but uh, these guys are called the metal did this bike such a justice this bike is cleaner than it's ever been so especially because it's electric it's not like gas like some of the other some of the other cats we make it and stuff like that but not to say that's bad too like i got i got gas bikes too ain't nothing wrong with it it's just wild to see that the prototype is like now becoming like a thing it's not just in my head anymore it's like in front of us everyone sees it and everyone sees how much torque this little thing can put off. Not really so little, but it's pretty, pretty different compared to what we all gotten used to. But yeah, here's a little weldy weld action. Putting those angled steel pieces on. You gotta get, make sure you get both sides. Because you need both sides to screw it in, obviously. Welding's pretty sketch. One day I'm going to get into it, but not yet. I'll stick to battery building and electronics for, for the meantime. But as you guys should, you guys should know that uh, obviously I can't do all this by myself. Like I know some things. That they know. I mean, I know some things that they don't know, and they know some things that I don't know. But when we work together, we really could get this done together. But now look at it. Hit it with a little impact wrench. Oh, that's not the impact wrench. Hit it with a little drill gun. Make sure it's clean and flush all the way through. Yep. Put the screw in. Put the washer on. Not screw in. Put the bolt on. Put the washer on. Put the nut on at the end impact wrench little wrench action shang shang yeah there we go now we cooking with gas now we cooking but yeah and these were like the extra ones like the extra holes if you had them if you wanted to like mount an extra piece those acts were there we just drilled them out just to like uh I guess for like a third safety point, if those other two did fail, or which they more than likely wouldn't, because if you shake the bike now, the whole if you shake the motor, the whole bike moves. It is really on there now. It is really, really on there. But yeah, it's gotta get the last one under there. All right, and then this one is we're actually working on the chain tensioner right now. Uh, he had to grind it off, grind off the one little piece so he could actually weld it to where the previous roller was. 
and I'll show you guys momentarily what that looks like. Alright, so a little bit of an update of what happened in this video. Um, we got the new motor mounts on, new glutes, with the plastic bushings in them. Awesome. We got the chain tensioner put on, and we got the original, we got, um, not the original, we got nice little welded on points for this, the actual mount. So the motor is moving the whole bike, which is pretty sick, that's good. But as you guys can see, the chain is very loose. And that's gonna like kind of put us into like a little bit of a deficit because I have to order another carrier bearing. This is not OEM carrier bearing. Um, that's something that's not a big deal. I'll just have to wait and order it and see how many days it comes and uh, get it. Um, and this is also the chain tension that we uh, put on. Uh, he was working on that in the end of the video, that last clip, and came out pretty good. We just bolted it to the original point and made things pretty a little bit better but as you guys can see this thing is almost there just, just needs a little bit more love and then everything else is cosmetic from here on out so peace you guys